Hey guys, hope you all have been well. For today's video, we're going to do a get ready with me because your girl is going to go run some errands. But I also wanted to film a video, give you an update on my whereabouts, things that has been going on or not has been or not. You know what I'm trying to say. This is the makeup look that we're going to do and uh, we're going to get straight into it because I'm going to do a lot of talking. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. I'm just the, I'll just run through the face stuff. I'm gonna use the MAC Strobe Cream Hydrant. Just kidding, gotta take some medicine first. I'll be back. Like my Starbucks. Foundation, we're gonna use the NARS. I always forget the name of this thing. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in Sahel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, correct me, but be nice about it. The concealer, I'm going to use a combination of the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey and uh, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. Update, what have I been up to? And I just wanna say thank you to those of you guys who have um, messaged me, both on Instagram and on YouTube, just about my whereabouts and wanting to know how I'm doing. I know it's been a really long time. There's no magical explanation for this, guys. I honestly just didn't want to film. It's not like a creative block. It's not, it's not anything to do with personal stuff. I just, I really don't feel like filming. I know that some people, and mind you, I'm... I'm beyond like amazed at people that choose to and are able to make this a career. But since it's not one for me, I don't I don't feel the need to like film all the time, especially if I don't feel like doing it. You can tell if I'm not into filming a video. I kind of have lost touch with my ability to hide what I hide what I feel and that could be a good thing or a bad thing just kind of have been doing other things in place of what I usually do when I film filming hasn't been something I've wanted to do and I'd hate to put out a video that just I made just because I didn't have one up for the week you know did I feel bad about it sure I did I know that I've been pretty good at the the one week thing I think I think I was pretty good at it but at the same time, I'd rather that be where I, you know, slip up as opposed to just faking my want to make videos because it's, you know, the end of the week. That's that. Everything's okay with me. Again, thank you guys who have been concerned. Um, no, nothing's going on in my life. It's just I... I chose not to film and I don't want anyone to feel like I don't care about making content because there are some of you that are you know like I look forward to seeing your videos and you know to kind of have this long break it's it is bad but know that it comes from a good place and that I want to give you a video that I I felt was worth putting out I'm going to tell you a little bit more and get into detail some of the things that um, you guys ask about. So, first one would be weight loss and uh, it's still been going. I like to think I've been, I've been pretty consistent with it. I had the intention of doing a what I eat in a day but not necessarily show you what I eat. I just don't have the right setup to film where I should film those things so maybe what I'm going to do is just like I'll show you what I put together to make my meal for the day, like ingredients basically. And so I just basically show you the basic stuff that I eat like routinely and then I'll, you know, let you know stuff that I, you know, the magic ingredients here and there that I splatter to make it special for that meal. The gym, I'm still going to the gym. I am in pain. You guys, I'm so sore right now. So as of recently, I did increase like the weight that I used. I started off between 11 and 22 pounds depending on the machine. And now I'm upwards of 44 to 66 pounds. And I'm not one to like go fast. I go slow, very steady because I want to make sure that I'm, you know, 
I'm making sure that my back is as taken care of because I don't want to hurt myself. I've also included some free weights. I'm just on the dumbbell and kettlebell for now. I don't know if I'm gonna do a barbell, to be honest. I just I'm kind of scared of it because of my back. You gotta really engage yourself, and I'm just scared to like go off on it because if you have a herniated disc, then you know what I mean. It can just it can blow out like but I'm going to move on to other things using these two products for my brows, Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown and the brow pencil from MAC in stud. Frequency, I would say four to five times a week. And then I go one day to Pilates. I'll talk about that again separately. And then on Sunday is a day of rest. There are a few times when I don't feel like going to the gym and I just do my own like set of Pilates at home and like squats and stuff here and there. Things that you can basically do at your house. But that's few and far between because I feel more motivated at the gym because if I drove all the way over there, you bet your butt, I'm going to make it worth it. And for Pilates, um, I started out Pilates on the Reformer, which is the, the machine. I enjoy the mat. Um, Pilates exercise a bit more because I find it a little bit more challenging and I'm not like a professional at Pilates but the Pilates class that I go to is for patients that um, require or have had physical therapy and so it's not like extreme Pilates you know what I mean and so I just wanted to challenge myself a little bit more and so I go to the mat class if you don't know what the mat class is it's basically when you do Pilates with just your body weight you're on the mat you're on the ground maybe use some what are they called togo balls sometimes um, we go on the rollers at the end sometimes we use you know resistance bands but for the most part it's just body weight um, and using and engaging your core, you know, throughout the entire, throughout the entire workout is what I was trying to say. Swimming, I have stopped completely. It happens on the weekend. I would go to a mat class and I would go to swim. And that would be majority of the workout that I did. I probably worked out three or four times total um, when I started out with my physical therapy and swimming. And now that I got the okay to go back to the gym and I do that more frequently, I'm just... I just want to just relax when I'm done, you know? I don't want to like do Pilates and then come home and relax and get settled in and then I have to go swim. Rawr. But I still love swimming. I could swim, I could swim all day long in a pool. Like when I go to a pool, honestly, I don't I don't enjoy going to a pool just to like float around and like doggy paddle. And if that's your thing, by all means, do you. But if I'm gonna go to a pool, I'm in it for laps. Like I love doing laps, you know, having like a 50 meter pool to just do laps around. I'm into it. Brown's done. And they may not be even, but <laughs> oh well. This is a small little sample of a bronzer. You can buy the super size of it, but this is the Bobby Brown bronzing powder in medium number dose. So my family members from California, if you're watching, hey, what's up fam? They recently came to visit and it's been a couple years since I saw two of them and even more for uh, my other cousin and it was just so nice. You know, when you spend your, your childhood, you know, with your family there, you're all in the same place and then you grow up and you move to different parts of the world. It's always nice to get back together and reminisce about the past and believe me, we did that. Also, one of my best friends that uh, was actually my roommate in college, I'm pretty sure I've talked about her in one of my videos, but uh, she's visiting family as well and it's been a long time since she's been here. So we're gonna get together in a couple days and I'm excited. Other updates, one that I've never mentioned, I don't think I've mentioned in my last video, did I? I don't know, but uh, I am no longer teaching. It was, a, it was a personal decision. My heart wasn't in it anymore. And not to say that I half-assed my job. No, every time I got into the classroom and was responsible for all these children, 
you bet your bottom dollar I was I was on it. I wasn't passionate about it um, as much as I used to be. Will it ever come back? More than likely because I love my job. I had the best job in the world. I don't think there's any greater feeling and maybe it's because I haven't had other, you know, too many other experiences, but there's something very special about being able to help like these young kids, you know what I mean? They, they just, they brought, brighten up your day without even trying. But there's a lot that goes into teaching, like kind of behind the scenes, you know, besides your classroom time. And I felt guilty most importantly, and most especially for those kids because I had amazing students. I really did. All the students that I had within the eight years, no, oh, nine years of teaching, <laughs> forget already. They were all amazing kids. As much as you impact their lives, they impact yours. Think about it. These kids will remember you and when they become police officers and you get pulled over because you're speeding, they'd be like, oh, hey Miss Annabelle, just make sure you don't speed again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe not. Seriously though, I have so many stories on my kids that I share with my family and we just have a hoot. Kids say the darnest things, they really do. So the plan right now is I'm going to try something else. I don't know what that something else is because right now I'm on, on my summer break. If I start up a new job, and it's, it's not going to be teaching, I won't have another summer to look forward to. So I'm going to take the summertime off, summertime, and then when I start a new job, I'd be like, okay, I'm refreshed. Like, I just don't want to jump into another one, and I'm only given two weeks of vacation when I'm used to two months. We got, we got some money in the bank to, to keep us, keep us bumming for a little bit. <laughs> These are the Ardell. 113s. These are my favorite lashes. I'm gonna show them to you because they're amazing. Ah! These them be. What else? What else? Any uh, baseball fans out there? I am in the baseball zone. I am in the diamond. I watch, I pretty much watch baseball games every single day and if I don't watch it I am on the MLB site with the play-by-play. -play. Anyone else into baseball? I feel like basketball, when the whole fi um, finals was going on, I didn't even watch it. When I was younger, the Chicago Bulls, I was all up in that. Pippin, Jordan. I love Jordan, but I was a Pippin fan. But he was, he was Scotty Pippin. Football probably was the one I was least into, um, even as a kid. I went to a few college games in college. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't even know football rules until I went to those games and I forgot pretty much all of it. But baseball, you know, I can hold my own. I'm not like a pro, but I understand what's going on. And I don't want to offend any fans from any particular city, but I'm going to say it. Don't Let's not fight here. I'm, I'm a lover of the sport, okay? But I am, I'm an Astros fan. Houston. Houston Astros, yes. I am a fan of the reigning world champs. But I will say this, Yankees, the Yankees, man. What, what? Boston is just, they've just been very consistent for the most part, but there's something exciting with the Yankees, man. They they put, they put up some exciting shows, I'm gonna tell you. Bronzer, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Chocolate. I think I talked about it in another video, but if you have ever been to Cuba, let me know how your experience was. Things are gonna change there and I just wanna see it in the state that it's been for forever. My girlfriends and I are we're we've been talking about doing a girls trip and i'm all for it i'm ready to go any suggestions for girls trips like you and your girlfriends no guys involved you just want to have a good time whether that be partying or just relaxing and if you do have a destination suggestion 
what would you recommend doing there? Blush Max Peaches. I should open this up to show you. Oh goodness, I didn't show you my powder. I used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in medium dark. I almost said medium brown. But that is for my eyebrows. I was going to say something. Totally forgot. Dang it. Oh, I was going to talk about my first and only... No, it wasn't the only, but probably like the, the most extravagant and stressful girl strip I've done. I, I might have mentioned it here, but my uh, roommates and I had decided on a whim. I don't know if I initiated it. I feel like I, I did, but it was like we had a consensus that we, we were going to make it happen. Um, Max Cork Lip Liner. We had gone to Santorini, Greece. Sisterhood of the Trowling Pants, thank you very much. And we stayed in Ia, I think is how you pronounce it. God, it's been so long. We stayed in this cave apartment type place. It was beautiful. You you would open the, the double doors and you would see out into the ocean and it was just, you know, white and blue dome buildings here and there and it was it was beautiful we did a whole bunch of stuff we did wine tasting we went to the the main city I think it's called Fida we also went to another island or two I forget um, close by we did the volcano tour and we rented a private boat and we swam in the oceans oh we rode a donkey I don't even talk about it. My friends only, they know the story, but in a nutshell, my donkey was not happy <laughs> that I was riding it up these steep stairs. They didn't give me a donkey, by the way. They gave me like a little dog. I was looking at the other donkeys and was like, why are you gonna give me the smallest one? I think it, yeah, I think it wanted to die. To be honest, it was like on the edge of the cliff every few seconds. It's like, should I? Mm, I'm still alive. That's all that matters. But it was a great trip. It was a great trip. I'm still thinking about the damn donkey. Colourpop Liquid Ultra Satin Lip in Stud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, pretty. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Pop it, pop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. And I'm gonna pop on some mascara because I completely forgot. L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black as I normally do and we are done. And if you're wondering what my everyday makeup routine is like, as some of you have suggested while or in my absence, this honestly is my everyday look. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't want to make any promises on when the next one will come out because I still feel kind of in that funk, but I think making this video is a little bit more promising than just keeping quiet for who knows, God knows, how much longer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions that maybe I didn't go over, you were wondering about, let me know in the comments down below and I will get back to you. I need to respond to all of the comments that have kept coming in um, while I was gone. And also I wanted to say thank you. I hit 12,000 subscribers. I hit 12,000 subscribers in sometime i don't know i don't keep track of like the numbers i just happened to check on my channel and saw the number and so i just wanted to say thank you for people who have still continued to subscribe and those of you who have stuck with me and have asked me questions and have been you know asking about my whereabouts thank you guys for your concern i'm still here um i still have uh, the want to make videos but just the frequency has changed a little bit and hopefully i get back into a routine suggestions are always welcome them. There are a couple other suggestions for weight and for makeup videos that I have listed already, but if you have more, let me know down below. I will list all of the products in the description. I will also be putting it on Instagram so people there who have been asking about where I am can see my face and be like, she's not dead. Thank God. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Till then, I hope you all are doing well and taking really good care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye.
Christine? No. Good.